Hi everyone, hope you're well and staying safe. Um, I just went to a quick behind the scenes video today just to show you some interesting packages that we've got going through the workshop. Um, it might be something that you've not seen before and it just shows uh, the flexibility here we have here at Valve and Process to put uh, packages together for you. Um, so what we've actually got is we've got a standard 2200 EXT switch box um, which the customer knows and loves and wants to use and in this particular instance they also wanted to put a Westlock Digital Epic Position Transmitter um, on top. We do do some products where we have the switches inside but this particular customer wanted the switch box and the uh, and the position transmitter as two separate items. So what we've done for them is actually created this piggyback assembly um, that they can fit on top of the actuator as the shaft turns the switches will be activated in the switch box and the transmitter will also be able to function and, and work out um, where the uh, valve is. So what we've actually done is we've taken the standard 2200 box, which we keep in stock, we've removed the beacon, and then we've had our manufacturing partner Quick Kits um, make us a kit and a drive adapter. So the drive adapter fits on top of the shaft, on top of the Westlock. And then because the uh, transmitter works via Hall Effect, so it's got the Hall Effect sensor, this is actually non-contact between the actual switch box and the transmitter. This fits on to the actual uh, switch box and then they've made us the bracket which fits on top and we can mount the, uh, the transmitter on there and it sits just nicely so that the whole effect sensor sits inside the, uh, inside the puck there. So it's quite a nice solution. Um, we call it a piggyback unit. We've done some with switch boxes on top of switch boxes and this one is with an actual transmitter on top of the switch box um, just to meet the customer requirements and uh, do exactly what the customer requires. So we've got four of these going through the work. So it's a nice little project for us. Um, we've got the cutout in the actual bracket at the side. So if somebody comes up and they're trying to see whether the switch box or the transmitter is open or closed, they can tell that from whichever angle they're looking at. Um, so a nice neat solution and just something I thought would be interesting to show you guys um, something that's going through the workshop. So thanks very much for watching.